How are we doing everyone? Sam from United People's TV. I'm here at the Labrokes FA betting partner launch with none other than Gary Pallister. How are you doing Gary? I'm good man, you? I'm fantastic, better now I'm sitting next to you. So basically all we're going to do is just sit here, just have a couple of chats about our new signings because obviously we've signed Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Mourinho's come in, we've got Eric Bailly from Villarreal, Henrik Mkhitaryan. United are looking strong for next season, how are you feeling about it? Are you confident? Yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, I think it's give everybody a lift. You're here coming in. I think the players and fans alike, have, the expectation levels have, have risen. Um, you say the signings have, have been good. Um, obviously got Zlatan in. Uh, what do you think about his debut goal? <laughs> it, well, it wasn't as good as Rooney's against City, was it? It bounced before it went in. But I mean, that's you know that, that's what you'd expect from somebody like Ibrahimovic. He's he's out there. He scores great, fantastic goals and. And uh, you know, to to try something like that is is typical of him, and it's come off. So, no, I think he's a really good sign. I think he's um, he's, he's the, you know he's powerful. He he scores goals. He, and he's got it, the charisma to do. Is with he the sort of player that um, say you can't in the dressing room? Is he the sort of player who can really lift it? Because United's got a young squad. We've got Martial, Rashford. There's young players in there. Is he the sort of person to come in, take them under his wing, and? help them get better well you would hope so I mean that's that's what we're hearing from the dressing room and the, and the, and the younger players saying that they're learning an awful lot from him already and I think that's what well, that's what we got with Eric I think he was a great um, player for the for the younger kids the likes of Bex and Nev and Butty and, and Scorsi coming through to see the way he held himself looked after himself in training um, you know he was one of the first on the training pitch he was the last certainly off the yeah. training pitch he was always trying to hone his talent and, uh, and be professional. So it's hopefully, you know, that's something that Zlatan does, and, and the younger players can learn from. And Mourinho is um, is a man that's going to split opinion among United fans and among football fans in general. But do you feel he's the right man at the right time for what the club needs? I do. I think he was the only fit out there um, after you know Louis left. Um, I think his CV is fantastic. I think he's you know he's got the charisma to deal with it with a club the size of Manchester United. Yeah. He's a character. Um, and above all, he, he's been a winner. He, he knows what it takes to win Premier League titles. Yeah. Um, as you say, he's maybe not being everybody's cup of tea, but I think he's going to get a, he make an instant impact at the club. And you know, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we're not fighting for the title at the end of the season. Yeah, let's, let's hope so. I mean, but the one defensive sign we made this year is uh, Eric Bay from Villarreal. Uh, if you had one piece of advice to give to a, a new centre back, especially one that doesn't speak English that well. What's the one thing he's got to focus on just to make sure if he if he nails this he'll do well? Um, <laughs> listen, I mean, the first the, the first thing you do know he, he's come from a, a smaller club to an absolute massive one. Yeah. Um, he's got to deal with the pressure of actually playing for Manchester United. Hopefully there'll be plenty of people there who can help him along the way. We've lost gigs; he would have been a big help in that yeah. kind of thing. Um, but hopefully the people that are left there can talk to about the likes of maybe Nicky Butt. Can go and have a chat with him and just say talk, talk about the expectations and the size and the demands of, of playing for a club like Manchester United. But um, that's something his own character will deal with, and it's a yeah. big fee. Uh, but he's obviously got great ability, and he's he's going to learn from one of the best in Mourinho. And obviously he's got David de Gea behind him, Spanish speaking, so that should help as well. Well, you would hope so. Um, I mean. I mean, David's been. I'm, I'm so pleased he stayed at the club. That's for sure. Yeah, you're not the only one. About, there was talk about him leaving at uh, at the end of last season, and as it was the season before. But uh, I think he's penned a new deal, and uh, he's talked about how excited he is to play under Mourinho. So um, that's that's one box that we ticked, and I'm really glad yeah. about. Now we asked a couple of fans just to send in a few questions for Gary. So we're going to run through a couple of them quickly before we leave. We've got one here from Ben Mitchell saying, "If you could pick any player in the world." Who would you like to see partner Chris Smalling in the heart of our defence? Cool, dear me. I've got to say it's a terrible one because I, I think Vincent Company has been magnificent for Manchester City. And that's the end of the interview there. Thank you very much, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> I thought it's going to kill a few people. But, um, no, I think, it, I think I mean, he, obviously injury problems have, have curtailed his, uh, his, his uh, playing career at the moment. But uh, I think for, for a number of years, he, he was probably the best centre-half, certainly in the Premiership. And if you could choose one player that was the most influential you saw at Manchester United, uh, who would Brian you Robson. Brian Robson. Brian Robson. Cantona was was magnificent and a, and a great catalyst for it, for everything that we did. But uh, for a guy who could do everything on a football pitch, it was certainly Brian Robson. I do miss Robbo. As we do, we all. We, we I mean, players like him come come across once 
in in a, in a generation, and we were fortunate to have two like that. We had Robo, and then we had Roy Keane. Well, final question here from oh, he hasn't got a name. T S. He said, "Toughest opponent you played against?" Um, a little Brazilian fella called Romario. Played against him twice. I think he scored four goals. No, 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 good. <laughs> not, not that he's bitter. Not that you remember it. Not that I remember. I still have nightmares about it. But he was good. Yeah. Thank you very, very much, Gary, for having a chat. Pleasure, mate. Um, so I suppose there's one final question to ask because it'd be rude not to talk about it. Give me a paragraph on Wayne Rooney for you as a player. You know, he's coming up to his testimonial. Always, uh, by the time where this goes out, yeah. this best testimony would have been played for 12 years as a United player. Yeah. Is he a legend? Is he a legend for you? Yeah, is... Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's, he's the all-time goal scorer now, isn't he? For, for United. He's got two or three off Bobby Charlton, but we'll get it this year. Yeah. Oh, is he two? Is he still? I thought he was. I thought he passed yeah. that now. All right. But he's, he's England's all-time goal yeah. scorer. He is a legend. Scorer of great goals. Uh, entertained the crowd for a number of years, and and thoroughly deserves his uh, his testimonial. And it's great that he's he's given uh, so much towards his foundation as well. Yeah, this is for charity, which is obviously going to be a big thing. Testimonials used to be where uh, players, players used, used yeah. to get the, used to get the money, but not anymore. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. Thank you very much, Gary. Uh, drop a like on the video as always, and subscribe to United People's TV if you want. Take it easy, everyone.